It's Wild 94 One Man. It's the Bootleg Cap Show live in the studio. This guy's got one of the biggest songs in the world right now. You might know it. It's called Cheerleader. His name is Omi. How you doing, man? Hey, what's up, bro? Thank you for having me, man. Congratulations. I, this song's been out a while, right? It's been yeah. out since last year, right? Yeah, not last year. Or, 20, or three years ago. Oh, it's three years old. Yeah, it's oh, three wow. years old. So tell or, us, why are we just, why is this song just now blowing up? Because usually, uh, you know, that doesn't happen, you I know. know. I know, it's quite unusual. But um, back in 2013, when I got signed to Ultra, you know, uh, there was a DJ uh, also signed to Ultra called Felix Yen. Mm -hmm. And uh, Ultra was really loving the song, you know, and they wanted to do a remix because, you know, Ultra is pretty big on EDM. Yeah, of course. And um, they wanted to do a remix of the song. And that's where Felix Yen, you know, came in and he, he did the remix. Uh, they released it in 2014. And um, it took off in Sweden and just started spreading all across Europe, man. And, and now we're in the U.S. So after three years, are you tired of the song yet? No, because <laughs> I know a lot no. of times. Because I wrote the song long before that. If I'm if I'm not tired of it already, when man. did you write the song? Uh, probably about seven years ago. Seven. So seven, seven years, years ago, ago. Yeah. Who was your cheerleader? <laughs> oh come on! It's been so much. Come on. There's been you know now. I mean? There's so many cheerleaders. Paying, but it's still paying tribute to anybody who was that support system. You know what right. I mean? So at the end of the day, it still did not lose its relevance. You know. Um, I know that uh, in the hip hop world. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a lot of um, uh, what we like to call groupies. Mm -hmm. So since you've been traveling the world with this song, how many girls just want like like are are, are volunteering to be the new cheerleader? But you, a lot. But um, <laughs> <laughs> but you know I don't even like to look at it like you know a, a groupie situation because I always try to respect women. You know what I mean I just respect women like that, and I never look at it as a groupie situation. Right. It's just the love. You know, uh, people admire what you do, whatever reason, whatever right. incentive. You know what I mean it is. Uh, that's personal, you know. What I mean, it's not for me to really call you a name or give you a label. So tell us about yourself. Uh, yes, sir. You know, because we all know the song, but we don't know a lot about you. So I, I, you were born in Jamaica, right? Yes, I uh, was born in Jamaica. How long have you been do doing music? Uh, you got kids? You got a wife? What's going on? I mean, yeah, no, tell us about yourself. Uh, no man. wife, no kids. <laughs> uh, well, I've been doing music for like uh, about seven years professionally, you know. But I've always been I've been writing since fourteen. You know, I started a professional career, you know, in my early 20s. And, uh, man, the journey has just been fabulous, man. It's been fabulous. Fabulous. What do you do in your spare time? Do you watch um, Orange is the New Black? What do you, I mean, what do you do? What, what do you do for fun? All right, so I don't party. You, you do not I mean? party. I do not party. So you do no. not, there's no turn up. No, no, there's no turn up. I mean, you know, but I paint, you know, I'm an artist oh, as nice. well. So I paint, um, you know, I like having like, you know, like a little social gathering. You know, me and my friends. A little kickback kick at the, back, at the you know house. I mean, definitely. You know, so I'm not, I'm not the wild and out kind of guy, man. That's just not me. I don't What's care. the last thing you painted? Um, the last thing I painted, I did a sketch. Last thing I did was a sketch of an old lady in the market. Yeah, that was that was the last art piece that I did. You, are you selling these art pieces, or you what are you doing um, with them? No, not really. It's just for my leisure. You know, what I mean, yeah. I, I pretty much give. The the weird thing about it is, if I'm doing like a, a art piece for sale. It is not as good as the one I would give away. Right. I don't know. It just always happens. You know what I mean? Do you live in the states? Uh, no. Where you? No, where you uh, live? But I'm I'm between Jamaica and Miami, so I'm, oh, okay. I'm in Miami a lot. You know. Nice. Uh, what What is your take being from Jamaica? Like on, um, guys like you know like Major Lazer, who's like Diplo, who's mm -hmm. you know big big in the EDM world, mm -hmm. um, who who. He, you know, he does a lot with the Jamaican mm -hmm. and reggae mm -hmm. culture, um, and then guys like Snoop Dogg who come in mm -hmm. and kind of like. Um, you know, do their thing, Snoop Lion, put an album out and all that. But what's your take on kind of like people from the outside of the, of, of, of the culture and, 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 right, and the region kind of coming into it? And, and Put it this way. If I'm walking on the street with my girlfriend and no other man looks at her or is attracted to her, I'm offended. Right. You get, you get what I'm saying? Because yeah. it means nobody else wants what I have. It, it's nothing what. You know what I mean? So it's like... It's like that. If you got something and, and, and a lot of people want to be a part of it or a lot of people want to be involved, you know, it's it, it means that you, you have something that's, you know, that's worth it. Something, you know, that's worth something. Right, so of course. Um, uh, it's, it's not offensive to me in any way, shape or form. You know, it's like a compliment, if you ask me. Musically, um, who are some of your influences? Like, who do you listen to in your spare time that you're fans um, of? Well, I've always been a big fan of Bob Marley, of course, because I think yeah. he's a great musician and a great, you know, he's an iconic figure yeah. uh, in Jamaica. And, um, you know, I have my all-time favorite, John Legend, just the same. Yeah, you John know, Legend's amazing, yeah. Nat King, Nat King Cole, Sam Cooke. You know, I listen to some of the, you know, young people of today who are out there doing it. You know what I mean? Sia, I'm a big Sia fan. Yeah. You know what I mean? Megan Trainer doing her thing as well. You know, Jason, The Weeknd, you name it, you know. Um, I'm a big fan of R. Kelly. 
You know, so it's like. Did you see R. And, Kelly's uh, movie? No, not yet. <laughs> no. There's there's a couple. There's the trapped in the closet one, and then and then there's the one where he pees on a, a girl. <laughs> oh, sweet Jesus. <laughs> But you know what? I admire him for his um No, his he's music. amazing. I mean, 12 I mean, plays, like, still, I mean... He's yeah. just a, a genius, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, for sure. Uh, yeah, geniuses, is, they're normally crazy. It's whatever, you know what I mean? That's what's up, man. Well, look, yeah. this record is huge. Um, it's such a great summertime, feel-good song. Uh, congratulations you, on, this, on the success of it. Thank you so much. Uh, are we going to get more music from you soon? Or you got uh, you got a project coming out? What's next? Yeah, yeah, most definitely. I mean, I have a follow up single, which will be a good transition, you know, out of Cheerleader into the album. That's uh, the the single is due to come out within the next week and a half, I think, and then the album is set to come out fall. So that will be a good transition into that. And the album. So you said the album's going to be out in fall. The singles coming up. Are is it going to be? Now, because a lot of people who don't know Ultra is a, like you said earlier, it's a huge mm, EDM label. Yeah. So you're gonna have like a little remix remix package with the with the single. I mean, that, it, it, it's gonna be upbeat. It's a it's a very happy song, I think, and um, I think it will catch on. That's Definitely. what's up, man. Well, yeah. I'm gonna let you introduce your new song, right? Hey, man, what's up? This is your boy Omi. Check out my new single, Cheerleader, man. Enjoy. I'm out.